must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nut job is doing surprise nut job stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. I am good. I rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to raise it. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, Having to watch the people we love die all over again? My family did not simply die. They were murdered. By Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Hope somebody... Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo! Flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Anybody in there? Drax? Are you okay? Open up! Peter Quill. Are you gonna join us in the cockpit? You had a lot of dog report items for Cosmo. Perhaps I will. I'll write them down. Drax. Apologies. I will surrender the lavatory. Give me a few ticks. Wait. Was that my toothbrush? What do you think, bud? Now that Contraxi is gone, what's gonna be the new hotspot for entertainment? I am Groot. An asteroid, huh? Huh. Smart!
What is wrong with her? We have to go back. Sure, we're heroes, but there's a limit. Hey, Rocket. You got a minute? Do I get a raise for this? Small marvel crafted. I doubt even you could break that. Hey, Drax. You okay? Drax? One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am Groot. What? Hey, Gamora. Go away, Peter. Come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. The warrior. Well, I am the warrior. warrior, and heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there, with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? Quill and I don't need to make up. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and flies us far, far away. Oh, hey, Rocket, Groot, sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys. Groot, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just curious about this report thingy I found. 
Yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. What happened to your homeworld? I am Groot. You never told me that. I am Groot. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a, an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. I am Groot. Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am Groot. Far as he knows, He's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last... human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am Groot. He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I am Groot. A drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Piven scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I am Groot. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a DAS cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it... still... active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. I know we don't talk a lot, group, for... you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> But I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am He says he knows, and he's grateful. Swirly. Is that even a plant? I wonder where Groot picked up that one. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. It's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. 
Coordinate of the galaxy must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am brute. Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. I'd stay in a dog jail. Got a piece of that guy. I am Groot. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. I got this, trust me. Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? We'll receive your splinter to remain. These ships ain't dying fast enough! That's a fixable problem! Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounty's for five Never heard of him! How much money did she offer these guys? More than that Ravager heap's worth, thief. What a brute! Hang in there, bud. They ain't killed us yet. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just keep watching. Feels kind of good to have bounty hunters after us. It means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Unlike you, I handle my research, Peter Kill. Please try to flee. I would love to hunt you down. Ain't nobody running, you chalk hawker. These guys have really bad timing. Another problem for our pile of problems. Are you brute? Stop barking orders, brute. You don't even know how to fly her. Drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. Or feel free to point the guns right at him and charge. Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? She will receive your splinter to repeat. These ships ain't dying fast enough. Fools! You face the best miners in the galaxy! Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounties are five of you. 
Drax can't come to the phone right now. Jeez, how much money did she offer these guys? Doesn't matter. She wasted her money. They ain't killed us yet! Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just keep watching. Feels kind of good to have bounty hunters after us. Means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Normally this would be good practice, but Captain Creepy's timing is as bad as his costume. Please try to flee. I would love to hunt you down. Private Morning Glory's running his mouth again. These guys have really bad timing. Perfect timing from where I stand. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Drop out and get a better angle. Only one lethal on. lame brain left. One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? She will receive your splintered remains. These ships ain't dying fast <laughs> enough. <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters. But my cruiser will crush you. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's um, I'm sure it's very comfortable. Will not be mocked. Then do something about it. Lady Skull Shoot us the worst flock in timing. Is she here? Mr. Goons, this time. It's starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them anyway. Really need to work on a PR. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Definitely felt it. Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. Yeah, I don't think these scrap tacks care if the galaxy's under siege. Pissing me off. Just kill them already. There's an art to this. Ha! Quill just tried to kill Splane to the deadliest woman in the galaxy. Doing us up, Quill. Moron. Protect our points. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill.
how much these creeps are getting paid for killing us. Let me look up the contract real quick. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I am Clary, warrior of... <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it. Girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Hi, Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpan's mistakes. How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not every. Oh, fuck you! We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. How about future crime? Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star Lord. Mom. This strategy is futile. Oh, come on, muscle brain. Please, Please state your celestial body or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Finally, Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world can parse that. Good job, boys. All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. I know. Let's join the Corps and rob them. Only, Only one application per cycle is permitted, and, and you cannot, cannot resume a cancelled application. Good. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the cons. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain, Explain yourselves. Hey, world mine, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, 
Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy. All lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually. The world mind is a collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill-advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause! Where would you even go? Please understand that we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy my tail. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? A millennia? Bolenia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? For well, unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can we adjust, adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot can be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It... It's is not magical. magical. But, but yes. yes! Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did we not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what, who. I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, no Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now.
What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Yeah, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, come on, really? I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknarf and back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, alright? Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Gotta jump, Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming Peter. Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they right. find us, we're screwed. screwed. Freely accepted. Oh Ooh. yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagno- I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast.
Hey, Groot. What's that stuff you're drinking? I am Groot. Looks like herbal tea, but, uh, not sure about the smell. <laughs> I am Groot. Say, bud, how do you stay so level-headed? I am Groot. I mean, every time Scud happens and we're down in the ditch, you never seem to lose your morale. I am Groot. Wow. Wish I could understand that. You have it all figured out, don't you? Mm, I am Groot. Well, I hope you keep it up. We could all learn something from you. Really? How did you... Uh, come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. Uh, screw it. And the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room. Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Oh. Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you? Me. Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket. Yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh. <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Well. Do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. There, let's go! Stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough. What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but. <sighs> Nikki! It's too far! 
going, Rex! Honor my death! Rex! Anybody? What are you doing? Heroes don't lie. None of this makes any sense! Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? We can't keep running away from our problems. It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! We're supposed to be a hero. We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. No! This is all wrong! Guys! I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! Yes, you do! You do! Take that, you ugly monster thing! Peter Quill! Peter Quill.